today we're going to do an alignment using the quick trip alignment setup uh, we're going to be aligning this e350 the kit comes with two heads some tape measures and a digital angle gauge the digital gauge is what we set our camber up with also we have magnetic tips on there so they will also stick to a steel wheel The first thing you want to do is set your parking brake and that keeps the truck from rolling uh, and we want to center and lock our steering wheel and I'm going to use a simple bungee cord to do that. Uh, there's a variety of ways that you can do that but this seems to work and it's easy. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you got equal amount of air in your tires uh, so we're going to go ahead and air them up. After we've checked the air pressure and got the steering wheel locked and the parking brake set, we're going to put the front end on these turn plates. I made these turn plates out of some sheets of aluminum and just simply put grease in between them. And from time to time, the grease will squash out and you got to add grease to it. But uh, it keeps the suspension at an at rest position on any ground that you may be working on, whether it be concrete, blacktop any smooth surface. We're going to raise the truck with this jack uh, because you don't want to drive on the turn plates the way that they are. The grease in between them when the front tire hits them, the front tire will stop and the top plate will skeet right off the bottom plate uh, and it'll make a nice greasy mess on your floor so you want to actually jack the truck up and set the plates under the tires and then let the truck back down. I'm just gonna slide the turn plates underneath the tires on each side. And now we can release the jack. And get it out of our way. You can see how much the plates moved to put the vehicle suspension at rest. So they are necessary for doing an alignment because if you did it on a hard surface, uh, the friction between the tire and the concrete wouldn't let you get an accurate adjustment. To make sure that your suspension is at rest once you've got the wheels on the turn plates, uh, bounce on the bumper a little bit and we should be ready to set our equipment up and do an alignment. All right, we're gonna install these frames on the wheel. Uh, they're fully adjustable, so you can make them fit whatever you're working on. And as I said earlier, we've got magnetic tips. We're working with primarily steel wheels, so they stick to them. All right, we're gonna put our magnets in the groove there and let them stick. We'll level it on the wheel and then we're going to put a little up pressure on our upper bar and tighten our set screw and the same thing here and you want to just make sure that it's securely on there set up on the other side is just like the first side the reason why we put a little pressure upward on this bar as we adjust it is so that not only do the magnets hold it on the wheel but it also pinches it in the wheel somewhat and we're securely on and we're ready to make a camber adjustment we're going to be using a digital angle gauge to set our camber uh, it zeroes to any surface as I'll show you here in a minute uh, I can't hold it still enough uh, it's pretty accurate it does a very nice job. We're going to use our angle gauge. We're going to set it up off the surface that we're working on, which are the turn plates. And with the simple push of a button, it is zeroed out and we're ready to take a camber measurement. Since we're zeroed, we simply take the gauge and attach it to the frame. And looks like we're out on camber slightly. 
To make our camber adjustment, we need to loosen this pinch bolt. And then we rotate this insert. It's on a cam and it will actually move the wheel in and out this way. Twist our insert where we have a gauge reading of zero. With our camber adjustment at zero, we're going to tighten our pinch bolt. And make sure our gauge still says zero. This side sets up just as easily. Zero your gauge, put it on your frame, loosen your pinch bolt, uh, adjust your insert, tighten your pinch bolt, and it should be zeroed out. Now that we've got our camber set, we're going to adjust the toe next and we're going to center the wheels with the steering wheel using a string line. And how we're going to do that, we're going to simply, I've tied a loop in the end of my string line and I'm going to simply hook it to a jack stand. From there, I'm going to run the string line around the tires to the other side of the truck and run it up the truck so I can pull off my string line to adjust the center of the steering wheel. After your string line set up, you need to make sure that your steering wheel is still centered because you have moved the suspension when you set the camber and sometimes it will move it slightly even though it is tied down with the bungee cord. There are two tape measures that come in a kit. Uh, we're going to use one of them now to set up this wheel with the steering wheel. What we're going to do is we're going to measure from a set point on the wheel to our string line. On the rear of the wheel and on the front of the wheel. If there's any variation, you need to adjust the toe to make both measurements be equal. To set the toe, we loosen these two nuts on this sleeve and then rotate the sleeve, which is threaded, that makes your tie rod move in and out, which makes the wheel move this way. and then tighten the nuts on your sleeve. To set up the other side on your toe, we're going to use both tape measures and the fixtures on the wheels, and we're going to work off the side that we just adjusted and adjust this side to that side. And we're going to do that with these tape measures uh, by sliding them under and hooking them into each frame and then run the tape measures back this way. All right, we're going to take our tape measure and put it in the slot on the end of the frame. And we're going to do the same thing to the front. We're going to put our other side of the tape measure in the slot, pull the slack out of it. Slide the tape measure up and set the lock. We're going to do the same thing to the front of the wheel. Let's we'll put it in the slot, pull the slack, and lock the tape measure. We're now ready to adjust this side for the toe. The adjustment that we're doing here is the difference between the front tape measure and the back tape measure. After you've made the adjustment on this side of the vehicle between the front and the tape measure, the front tape measure and the rear tape measure, you've done your alignment.
Uh, Quick Trick has really done their homework on this stuff. Uh, it's well built, it's user friendly, and it does a great job in my shop.